Hello, welcome to part 14. It's a brand new season for the Generals, Chesham United, I'm Magubic, and we are about to embark on our third season in the Conference South. Since you were last with me, we've had the whole of pre-season. We finished last year in the 18th position, a couple of points above the relegation zone, which is a little bit of an improvement on our first season, where we avoided it, I think, by a point, or I think it was goal difference or a point. So we need to now kick on. We need to make sure that we can improve our squad and then we can drive for somewhere around mid-table or even in or around 7th place to try and push for the playoffs. Can't really see it's going to happen. Finance-wise, as you can see, we're in 159000 in the red. Not good. We're about 1200 below our wage budget, which is OK. Talking of budgets, transfer history. Let's have a look at those players... Uh, all transfers, let's have a look at released players. So you'll see from the list of these players that have been released. kajasharal has gone Gibbs, Beckford, Connolly, Myers, Williams, Easy, Hornsby and Gordon. They've all gone. Um, it's been busy. It has been busy. Player trials, there has been untold amount of player trials as you can see. But these are the main players that have come in. Oh, also, also. Lewis Hall has gone to Southport. Mason Saunders Henry has gone to Derby. And Bailey Spencer Adams has just signed for Weymouth. And I've managed to bring in a number of new signings, which has bolstered the squad. And there's some important information coming up. If I, I'll go through that with you in a minute. Start with Josh Helm comes in as a backup goalkeeper. His basics are all right um, for a keeper. He's not too bad. He's not great, but he's just in for the time being. He's not even on a contract. He's just my backup goalkeeper until I can get a good one. Kenneth Yao has come in centre-back. He's on three-star ability, five-star potential. Physicals are good. Basics for his position as a defensive centre-back. That's how I'm going to be playing now. Are good. He comes in. He's a key player on £300 a week. Elliot Hodge is a winger on the right-hand side. He's three-star ability, four-and-a-half-star potential. Again, physicals are good. Basic stats for his position, winger. Are good. He's come in. Uh, he's coming from, he's been all around these leagues, he's been League 2, he's been van, most of the time Vanarama. That's why I've brought him in. Kenny Fial, for example, need to also go through him. He spent his career at Charlton for four seasons, didn't play a game, and he's been in this league with Bogner and Eastbourne Borough. Next player, John Marsden comes in. He's going to play as a deep line forward uh, or a defensive forward. Figures are really good. He's on, not even on a contract. Two and a half star ability and potential, but his figures are better than what I've got. He's going to be the backup defend, uh, deep line forward. Uh, his history has been in and around the Vanarama all of his career, basically. Started off up in Scotland, or Wigan, I should say, Premier League. Went to Celtic, didn't even feature. Hamilton didn't feature. Then made two appearances in Wales, and he's just spent most of his time around the Vanarama, so he's in for experience. Zach Lilly is another winger on the right-hand side. He comes in three, two and a half star ability, four star potential. Again, not even on a contract, but his basic figures for the job I'm going to ask him to do are good. Uh, he spent his career again around the Vanarama, so he's well suited to the division. Jordan Jowers is my first choice deep lying forward. As you can see, it's his natural position. He's on three, three star ability, four star potential. His stats are good for this particular league. Um, again, he's been around the Vanarama South of Hampton. He's played about 74 games. He's done quite well. So he's come in as my advanced, sorry, deep line playmaker. Playmaker? He comes in as my deep line forward. Dwight McNeil comes in as a winger on the left hand side. Three star ability, four star potential. Basics are okay. Passing is not great, but he can do a job. He spent most of his career. Actually, not even playing a game. First of all, at Burnley and MK Dons. He's going to get first-team football at my place. Uh, Liam Gordon comes in. He's a defensive... Oh, no, he's gone. He's actually gone. Why has he gone? Did I release him? Yeah, I thought I released him. I released him. It wasn't good enough. Oh, he wanted too much money. Look how much his demands. Between 550 and £1,200 a week. No. Um, right, Peter Link, central midfielder. He's only 18, but look at him. Three and a half star current ability, five star potential for central midfield position, teamwork, work rate, passing, brilliant. Leadership, 
his physicals are good. Uh, he's come in from West Ham. He hasn't featured for them, but he's come in. Paul Campbell is my new first choice right back as a defensive right back. More on my tactics shortly. He's come in and his basics for the position are good, determined. Stamina's good. He's not as pacey as I'd like him to be, but he's okay. Three and a half star ability, five star potential. Uh, he's come in from Tottenham, released on a fleet. Fr- flea, a free, he hasn't even played a game yet. And Anthony Smith comes in as a winger on the right hand side. Basically, he's come in to be a youngster to develop. Uh, he's not even going to feature on my first team. So basically, this is my squad now. So my squad looks quite balanced. Um, ability wise, not too bad. Let's go to the National League season preview. Look at this season preview. We are rated 10 to 1 to win the league um, this season. Compared to where we have been, it's been brilliant. So we've made some really good signings and the squad is looking strong again. Pre-season has been okay. We've only played the four games. Uh, We lost away at Dagenham and Redbridge 5-3. But then we've beaten Corby, East Thurrock and Tilbury. Our first game this season is Slough. Um, I'm going to try and squeeze in the two, the very first game of the season. Slough and Bath are the first two games of the season. Let's get straight into this first game, but let's go through tactics very, very quickly. I'm going to play 4-4-2 standard. Standard flexible. My All my defenders are defensive. All of them. Goalkeeper's defensive. My wingers are on support. I've got one centimetre, one, centimetre, one central midfielder defending. One supporting with a deep line forward on support and a poach and attack. That's how we're going to play to start with. Basic 4-4-2, no instructions, just standard flexible, just to see how we go. Let's move forward to the game against Slough. So here we go, then the first game of the season, Girlings in goal. Preston, Mead, Yao, the new signing, and Campbell, the new signing on the right-hand side. McNeil, the new signing on the left-hand side with Link, another new signing on in the middle. He's on the support role. Mingi is in his defensive midfielder with Hodge on the right, a new signing. Joe is the new signing, deep line forward up front, supporting Ryan. Here we go. So here we go. If we can try and start off with a good performance, team talk, passionately say, go out there and impress me. Tell everyone I've got faith in them as normal. Kick off. So here we go. This is the first game of season three. We're looking for a much better season. Drastic improvement on last. It's going to take about 10 games for these players to get used to the tactics and gel together. They all need to gel. There's plenty of new players, as you can see. But we've got a much better squad now than we had last year, which is good. I'm sticking to a 22-man squad. So we've played the ball forward and given it away and they're on the attack straight away. Cut the ball out, but the cross, the fullback's pushed on. Right, McNeil, the winger, plays the ball up looking for Ryan, but plays it short. They're in. Great tackle. Mingi plays it through to Ryan. Ball on ball over the top. Ryan's in behind. Ryan scores. There's your goal. It's 1-0 Chesham. Great ball from Mingi at the back. The defensive midfielder did his job. Won the ball back. Played a lofty, long ball through. Great tackle from Mead. Mingi picks it up. Ball over the top to Ryan. In behind. Defender can't deal with him. He's the wrong side. And Ryan scores to make it 1-0. The next highlight with 15 minutes in. And again, they're coming forward. Play the ball wide. Cross comes in. Nubel with a header. Flicks it wide. Is that Frank Nubel? No, it's not. Five minutes from half time, and this is good from us. Five shots, one on target. We're playing really well here. Some of our players' figures are, are, are disappointing, but hopefully they're going to pick up second half. One nil at half time. Good first half from us. Some of these players need to play better. Assertively say, happy with my defenders. Right, midfielders, assertively say, you can still improve. Attack, I'm happy with them. And the team talk. Here we go. Second half. Let's kick on now. Let's get a second goal. Right, they've got free kick. 52 minutes in. We clear the first ball in the box. 
They have a shot well wide. Dealt with that quite comfortably. Right, 60 minutes to in the game. I'm going to make a change. As you can see, Peter Link is struggling. 6.4, 69%. So he just make a quick change with Matthew Smith. Smith's here from last season. Smith, as you can see, deep line playmaker, but he's just going to be on a central midfielder support role. Um, do I need to make any other changes? I don't think. I think we're doing all right everywhere else. Kenneth Yao struggling, maybe. Let's take him off. Sinclair comes on. Mayeko Sinclair, he's here from last season. He's still good. His basics are good. He's in. Two changes. Let's confirm those subs. Play. If we can just kick on now. We've had more shots. We've had two on target compared to their none. Well, they've got an attack by the looks of it. Long ball up the top. We should deal with it. Mead does. Get rid. Plays it up the line to nobody. And we've given a foul away. McNeil, the winger, is already booked. And he's going to be sent off on his debut. If he's sent off, that's going to cause us a big problem. He is. He's been sent off. Marvellous. <sighs> so, what are we going to do? Hodge. Hodge can come inside and play. So, Mingi. Let's move Mingi there. Hodge, you're going to come and play there. Central midfielder support. Central midfield will defend. That's all we're going to do. That's our only other change. Right, we've got 20 minutes to go. Down to 10 men. Let's see if we can hold firm and deny these guys. 10 minutes to go. We're still a goal up here. Down to 10 men. They've not created much since the sending off. Defence is playing well today. They've done really well. They've not had a single shot on target, Slough. Right, they've got the attack with 10 seconds before the end of the game. Blow your whistle, referee. Blocked. Blow your whistle. He does. We've picked up a win away from home. 1-0. Down to 10 men for 20 minutes to go. Team talk. Passionately say. Very nice victory. Okay, everyone. This is Bath. This is the next game of the season. And just before we move into this game, there's been a new sign-in. Just covered. Joel Whittingham comes in. He's rated three star with five star ability. He's been trained defensive fullback. He's not on a contract, but his basics are, not, are all right. But he's in, and I'm going to rotate my players for this game for the next game against Bath. Girling's in goal. So Whittingham, Sinclair, Jameson, and Fish complete change to the back four. They're in. Hakeem, Smith, Boot, and Lilly total change to the midfield four. Marsden and Bako complete changes. Completely rotated 11. We're on standard flexible still. Here we go. So here we go. Let's see if we can build on the last victory we had away. I certainly say, go out there and impress me. Got faith in every single position. In the team talk. Right, here we go. This is Bath at home. If we can pick up another win, it would be a fantastic result. It's going to be a hard one. Well, they've got an attack. Gerling comes out and blasts it up pitch. Could have picked it up there. Right, Smith wins the challenge and plays Bako in on the left. What's Bako going to do with the ball? Oh, he's beating his defender. He's cut inside. Smith takes the ball on. Smith scores. What a goal. I thought Bako was looking for Marsden, the deep line forward. But Smith making a run from midfield. Just watch Smith into your picture now. The blonde-haired midfielder. Takes his first touch is brilliant. Goalkeeper beaten. 1 0 Chesham. We're halfway through the half, and this is good so far for the rotated 10. They're playing well. We're one up. Five minutes before half time, and we're good here. We're really good. Our fitness levels are great compared to theirs because we've rotated our players. Two shots, two on target. They've had two and none. We've, we're yet to concede a shot on target. In the opening game and a half this season, which is unreal. Okay, half time. Let's encourage. They're doing very well. Pleased with this. Passionately say things are going well, but you're capable of even better. Passionately say that to everybody else. Passionate. Tack. Passionately say. Right, come on. Let's kick on now. Let's get a second. Cement the win. Hopefully, if we can start the season with two wins in two, that'd be great. Off. Right, Sinclair's got a knock. Need to make that change. 
we've got an attack first and foremost. I'm going to make the change while this is going on. Yao can come on for Sinclair once this highlight's finished. Smith picks the ball up, gives the ball away. They're going to break, but Whittingham, the new sign, is going to pick it up. Sinclair, who's injured, launches the ball but gives it away. Hakeem, ball over the top to Bako. Bako's in, he should square it. He has Marsden with a tap in. Deep line forward, the front two combine. That's 2-0 to Chesham. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Smith picks it up and plays it to Hakeem, who lobs the ball over the top to Bako. Beats the defenders, lays it into Marsden. 2-0. Five minutes into the second half. Yet yeah, we're going to make that change. Sinclair can come off. Yao's on the best defender. Rated by my assistant. He's now on. Right, Bath have got an attack. Patterson. Hakeem steps in and wins the challenge. The winger wins it. Bako plays it wide to Lily. Ball over the top, but Marsden's won it back. Bako. Play it out to Hakeem. He does. Hakeem, is he going to beat his man? No, he's going to play it into Smith, who looks for Bako, who's beaten his defender. Cross comes in. Marsden heads it. Heads it wide from six yards out. Should have scored. Let's pause this and make a couple of changes just to bring some players on. Lily's done well. He can come on. Hodge will come back on. Link, Smith's done well. Do I want to make any other changes? Let's give the goalkeeper a run. Helm can come on. Change me goalkeeper. Whoever does that. 20 minutes to go. We're 2-0 up. We've got a corner. Hodge is going to take it. Floats it into Jameson, who heads it in off the underside of the crossbar. Brilliant header. That's 3-0 to Chesham. Hodge, Jameson with a header. Underside of the crossbar. Keeper's beaten. That's 3-0 to Chesham. We have another corner. Hodge floats it in. Hakeem this time is spare. That's 4-0. My little corner routines are working. All I've done is put players in positions where I think they should be for every single free kick or corner, defensive or attacking, based on my own knowledge. I'm not using anybody else's tips, just my own. We've scored two goals from two corners. That should be it. I know Mars is now in behind. They've missed the challenge and he's screwed the ball wide. We're top of the league. Six points. Two wins from two. Scored six, is it? Or scored five? Yep, we scored five goals in two games. Conceded none. This is good. Blow your whistle, referee. He has, and there we go. Two wins from two. When do you ever see that on a Chesham episode with me on the Goobage? Brilliant performance from everyone. I'm really, really pleased with that. And the team talk. So there you go. We are top of the league after two games. Yep, five goals scored, none conceded. It's been brilliant. Been such a, such a good start to the league. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button on YouTube, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content from me and the Generals Chesham United. We'll see you all next time.